Officially, this is one of the most dangerous places on the planet, and it's also known as the land of disasters. Hurricanes rage through here, earthquakes rip it up, and molten lava spews from volcanoes. Welcome to Guatemala! Guatemala's home to a huge variety of terrain, from volcanic peaks belching deadly fumes to cold cloud forest down into hot, humid jungle. Okay, front of the rope is going out, it's by the skid. Okay, Bear is getting onto the skid. Steady there, hover. All I'm taking with me are a few basic survival tools. Bear is on the volcano. Y luego se va a poner atrás usted. It's a heli out of here. Just horrible. Get stuck here, and one of the best bets is to head for the Mayan ruins deep in the jungle. They're popular with tourists, and where there are people, there's salvation. First sign of anything living. That's a good sign. It means we're getting away from the danger zone. And this must be old lava, if any vegetation's growing in it. I'm heading for the tree line making for the jungle below the volcano. And if there are trees, then there'll be grubs and bugs. Buried in all this dead wood. A rhino beetle. There we go. Get one muck off him. See that? That's why he's called a rhino beetle. See that horn? And that's what he uses to root around in all this dead wood that he then feeds off. But yeah, these guys are super strong as well. I can feel the pad just in that. And then look, these are his claws that he uses to grip on with, with that rhino power. But you know, he might be a vegetarian, but out here, I'm not. Oh, very crunchy. Very gooey and very bad, bad tasting. Try getting the horn down your throat. OK, let's get going. I'm going to stick with the river for now. It's easier going than thrashing through all that dense jungle. Yeah, let's probe a little bit of the way into this. It becomes a nightmare when all we backtrack. I'm going to light the torch with my flint. The Mayans used to think that caves like this were the gateways to the underworld. They called it Chivalva. It means place of fear. OK, come down to me. Come on, come on. Up. Is that camera working? With the torch out and soaked through, the only way I can see in the darkness is to use the infrared on the camera. The camera can see in the pitch black. Okay, I, I can't. Okay. Stay there, stay. That's clear. Come on. Okay, give me a hand. I got you. Okay. Up. And out of that cave. Look, I've got some fresh water crab. A few of them in here. It's quite a good size as well, that. Try and get some others. Watch out where you're treading, watch out. You know, and these are going to be edible. I don't want to eat them raw. I really want to cook shellfish and keep these, try and keep them alive for something to eat later. Here you go. 
I'm going to keep them safe in my backpack. Chivalva. It's a little, little tiddler. One thing about jungles is their abundance of life. Rotting tree stumps make an ideal place to look for food. This is like a larvae larder in here. Look, finding all of these things. There you go, there's another one. See, that's just feeding off all that decomposing, rotting wood. Ow! God, they really bite! Well, that is one. Look. That's another good sized one there. Getting a bit of a meal together. I'm not sure exactly what these are, but they look like beetle larvae. But I know that's good to eat. You know, it hasn't got any of nature's big warning signs. It's not brightly coloured, it's not covered in little hairs. It's just been feeding off this rotting wood. And that's bug heaven. With the grub safely tucked away in my backpack for later, Chivalva, I can start thinking about a place to sleep before it gets too dark. Yeah, if I make some sort of platform to sleep on and then hang that under one of these limbs, one of the big branches, that at least going to get me off the ground. I'm going to make a hanging bivouac. Cross one, like that. I'm going to use vines to make a lattice to sleep on. And that is what we're going to suspend it from. Up the tree and over that branch. Oh, my word. In the crook of this tree, there is the mother of all larvae. Check that out. That's going to turn a snack of larvae into a feast for me. Cool. Chivalva. Yeah. Yep. Well, this is supper. And, you know, getting some energy inside yourself is such an important part of keeping your spirits up. Even if it is grubs and crabs. <sighs> oh, want you back. Here you go. Let's try and get this guy skewered. Like a bug kebab. Let's get them on the fire. I'm going to boil the rest of the bugs and crabs together in water from my canteen. And actually, that will also give me a bit of a hot, buggy, fishy drink as well. It will cook them and kill any parasites. It's jungle surf and turf. And that's good nutrition. Actually, much better cooked than they are raw. And yeah, I love crabs. Often catch them with the kids at home. Mm. That's a good meal. Day, new beginning, and their ruins all over the jungle. This temple was built by the Mayans to worship their gods. Hey, look, this be a good place for a signal fire. Got a little bit of height. I'm protecting the ancient ruin by placing lots of fresh, damp palm leaves under my fire. 